Hello and welcome back on the channel. This is Dalsent and we are continuing our Timberborn adventure. As you remember, our beavers would like to evolve with a higher level of hmm, satisfaction, I would say. And we are currently at level 7. So we are almost there to unlock the second race. So what's next? Really, we have some space and of course, yeah, what could you expect? Religion is the key really. So let's do that uh, because this is the most easy thing we can do. But let's find that right now. Do we have a temple? Yes, we have a temple. We have points. Yes, we have points. Let's build a temple, a very nice one. And yeah, maybe from this side. Hmm? No, from this side doesn't want to build it for some. Um, ah, yeah, there is some wood there. OK, it must be this side. And boom, our seventh level will evolve to an eighth one because the well-being will get a temple and a temple means spirituality and that means yeah we will unlock the fraction iron thief and yeah it's a fun one you may notice that there is like a secret weapon here as well as you can see here we have well of course monuments for our well-being for the eighth but there are of course different things regarding the decorations and uh, regarding then our power possibilities let's say uh, we have something extra here dynamite dynamite is very nice it doesn't do like a very great damage really doesn't think about don't think about dynamite the traditional way like huge crater etc etc everything will be demolished blah 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 nope this is not science fiction this is post-apocalyptic simulation and as we were playing the last two times i could not notice some similarities a little to rimworld yeah rimworld is yeah is something more advanced of course with more perks and consequences but this is like a simple reward I would say and yeah we have less things to do here less options less possibilities no fractions are attacking us but we have drought and yeah, that is a problem so if we have that then we should move forward and yeah and explain how the most devastating thing in this game works well that will be fairly hard because to have dynamite we need to have a explosives factory for that we need to have uh, bu -bu 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 uh, a shredder uh, which requires um, um, scrap metal which requires let's go there um i think gear workshop which requires of course the wood and other stuff so yeah we need to get a lot of things uh, evolved uh, with the science and uh, sorry discovered with the science and our society needs to be evolved enough to well survive that is the, the thing that we need to consider and if we are looking here really there is something i could not miss earlier you see how high the water can go here and yeah there's a question from my end can we do here like a big dam like close this gap and other gaps maybe and put the higher uh, the water as high as possible maybe here so whenever we get the, the drought we still have a bunch of water that we can let's say unlock whenever we need and for that uh, we could make like a, on the lowest uh, level let's say um, a standard dam 
above a leaf or something like it or maybe a floodgate yeah we have a, a three level of floodgate why not we could use that and then we could like release the water whenever it's needed to fill our river all the time with water hmm? that's an idea for let's say a next episode because uh, we are currently playing level normal so the drought is always three days long and it's really not that challenging um, I would say you may disagree but yes we cannot really evolve here we, we cannot really play this long enough we barely have two episodes and we are almost there regarding unlocking the next race and the next beaver race and yeah that would be almost it of course we need planks and logs uh, do we do we are not doing planks yet okay let's do planks and yeah we have one kid so our beaver village is growing and that's good hopefully they will grow even faster with time uh, but leaving that yeah we just need wood that we have as well due to forestry and yeah our forests are very good uh, regarding providing the wood uh, itself because one of them one of those maple trees as you remember provides eight logs so 10 trees 80 logs and not like maybe 20 or something like it yeah very very nice okay and we still have here one three two trees huh? we never went there really we didn't chop them down yet we should <laughs> we definitely should but okay 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 we need people that's the most important thing and yeah we have a campfire again we have some logs uh, we have some planks we have tons of food that's very important and we have water uh, and we need to have water again so let's have a look here yeah let's unequip one person so we can get some more water because if we don't do this well we will die out due to lack of water of course so let's let's wait out a little because yeah that's the only thing it's left here now it's to wait to wait and see will the drought come and will we be really that well with a big problem that much in, in, in a big problem situation I don't think so but yeah. let's wait out and see yeah we are making water no we are not making water okay that's that's bad come on whose kid is it it is okay Malak was born Malak oh you are at age four you are almost in adulthood I need you Malak I need you come back and well being level 8 as you can see already so we are almost there mm. spirituality yes yes we did it we did it now more of our colonies need to get spirituality really or what are we missing social life nutrition okay 10 out of 10 oh that's why we got one more kid on the way that's why we cannot fulfill this and uh, that's also one one of the problems in in this game if there are children ongoing then yep, we need to wait for them to be fully fledged citizens of our colony of our yeah district uh, <laughs> that we have here and yeah our survival depends on it and as you can see our beaver here maybe needs to have a quick stop and maybe he needs to go there to get more water for us at least okay it still looks good still is good the drought is still not coming don't know why it should be already but yeah what do i know it's just a normal level so fairly easy as you could see at the beginning we had the biggest problem with the wood uh, so yeah the wood and food and we managed to do both 
very nicely uh, we forgot about this uh, field of berries here so yeah we could survive without it and here we have it yeah it's level 8 ladies and gentlemen this at this moment we should be able you should be able to unlock your iron teeth uh, race and yeah our next episode definitely will have it but before that I think I will go quickly like maybe one hour two hours who knows and evolve our small colony so I can show you the dynamite really how it looks like and how it works because it is very important to know what's the ultimate weapon here to fight the water shortage so for now we are good and we are no longer struggling our colony is growing exponentially well now we are plus one because uh, well maybe even every cycle there will be two beavers more in our colony plus eight of our well-being is making that happening really so yep this is how you survive and remember whenever it's already like mm, a no-go for us and yeah we will no longer survive try to prioritize only well-being so whatever you can the campfire mm, uh, some houses uh, water yeah uh, grilled potatoes do whatever needed uh, that you have at least six so it's in the balance and yeah and they are not that quickly dying and whenever you get seven with po baked uh, sorry grilled potatoes your colony will grow as you can see already 11 so like i said this is how you do it and of course if you are above seven like with eight it will be just better and better and better and but we don't have water come on there's lots of water here there should be no problem with it okay we can resign here we can see one unemployed person well we have lots of food here really but the baked potatoes grilled potatoes sorry well they are ending so let's have someone working on it and who is going to be now a new member so Pina and Vakus they born of course and yeah who died recently uh, Voyam B and Shozlich hopefully I saying this uh, oh no he grown up and so yeah we are having more people growing up and being born than dying and that's the end of result so I will see you in a moment and we'll try out the dynamite yay for a better future we need to build a dam and even a big one but what's here new our beavers are working underwater well without a problem even so this is true they can survive there but what is the trick here you cannot put those stairs when it's when there is water so i can show you that in a moment here as you oh wait now it's unlocked oh come on but earlier i could not put it there <laughs> until there was a drought then i put it the stairs and now i'm building a good dam as you can see and the water is really nice okay let's have a look here how can we have a look normal look back ah i never figured this out okay ah here it is so as you can see here will be our special lock so i will use the float gate triple one in the middle so far it's good we have much more water here on those terrains and whenever we will complete this even further then we will get more and more greenlands and as you can see here i almost finished my dam as well so when this water goes here it will not flood this area here and my own city of course but this is really not a big problem because here i can make another one extra 
So just in case uh, some spare water or something. But I think if we will have this big terrain full of water, then that won't be a big problem really. Because look, it's even outside of the map. So I think, yeah, we are good. Of course, I could make here some water movement to make here a lake. Why not? We will see in the future, but for now we are building underwater and it looks good. Our beavers are underwater animals, so yeah, why not, why not? And what's uh, important here as well? I noticed that whenever we build this, uh, this wheel for electricity, so this power wheel, yeah, I forgot the name. And then, regardless of the direction, this water here goes either this way or this way. So clockwise or counterclockwise even. Both ways and yeah. We could say it's a problem. As you can see now, it's going doing the counterclockwise, that's correct. But for some reason, sometimes it goes the opposite way. I cannot understand why, but it happens. So this is a small update on the matter right now. As you can see now, we leveled up the water a little higher than, than as it should be. Oh, have a, we have a nice view here. Uh, so yeah, we are higher, so the water here should go deeper as well. And it looks like it's going deeper. So we are more and more prepared for Greenland and possibly a lake here, yes. We will have a lake here, so yippee! Good for us. And as this, there will be a lake here. That means the drought will not uh, affect this region because it's two levels deep. So a good one. Okay, let's focus on everything else. I'm still missing some science for this uh, triple floodgate. I don't know if I need triple, but who knows? Maybe I need. A triple one if not yet then yeah at some level I will just uh, yeah I will just need it maybe I will move my uh, site somewhere else and then I will be build a very big one here ish maybe because this is the best region here to have a settlement yeah who knows yeah let's see in one hour <laughs> ish here we are again, third day of the drought has started, it will be six days long and look at this, we have water, we have dams, we have floodgates and of course we have constant power supply and shortage of course, but wait, what is this? <laughs> this is our reservoir with water, really tons of water so we have here three floodgates and of course I will use that water but first here you can see I especially made a little deeper um, yeah canal or no not canal sorry I forgot the word for this but yeah, it, it's a, a deeper uh, excavation of uh, for the water and here the pump it will work endlessly whatever amount of water we do have here and of course now it's time to do the detonation we have tons of dynamite so three two one boom great so now we will have here a waterfall and that's also nice so let's do this let's put it like two and as you can see, tons of water are coming uh, through that floodgate. And well, what I can tell you, the mechanics is a little off because this water uh, is going faster than anticipated. Yeah, with one opened, it's like rushing like hell and mostly, and it's hard to manipulate uh, the flow. With three of them, it's much easier, don't know why, but there is more water coming, still don't know why. And what was odd, and I will show you that in a moment, let's close this, 
Uh, and the water is still going somehow. Oh yeah, it's still going. Okay, so now I have only one. And let's say I will open it here till zero. And as you can see, we have more or less even bigger effect, as you can see, with only one. And let's go like only one and a half. And boom. Yeah, it's much better, but still how we can manipulate the flow it's much harder as you can see now the water came here and it's not not good it's still going too fast and only with one we may probably save it but of course we don't have any problems with water shortage and here yes we are flooding this part here <laughs> uh, as a separate one so yeah the, why i have this here well, because I want this to have those trees uh, really growing, that's one thing. And the other thing is that uh, yeah, whenever I push more water to have more energy for those water wheels, then it's just uh, saved and not um, sp spilled over to this lake here. Yeah, we don't need that really. We want to save the water here in our region and of course the next step what i would do is bigger dam and higher dam of course but yeah we have a very nice uh, happiness here well-being at level almost 14 as you can see few of those guys have 14 level uh, due to knowledge and everything else ave 3 is something i could not do on cycle 19 yet we have a nice amount of science, but still, for the A3, where is it? 12,000. Yeah, maybe in a few days, <laughs> maybe after a few hours of, of the gameplay, yes. That would be something I can do, but, well, not today. And as you can see, the water is flowing, but yeah, it's not working as planned, of course we are moving big amount of water but here as you can see it's not moving that much that's why really we should stick with the plan if we have three of those guys really pushing the water at level two then it's good of course we started the drought with well with the highest peak of three so it really went till the top and of course still five days are remaining and we have Tons of water still remaining for us to use. It's 2.3 still, so if we lose 0.3 per day, we are good. And we, I think, will not lose that much. But with this uh, regulation of three of those um, floodgates, we have better movement of the water on, on the surface, as you can see. And now, as you can see as well, all the wheels as well are moving and that's the proper course of action we want of course we don't want to well lose that water but yeah we are losing it unfortunately because it's just too high but still yes it's it's moving this way from which one of those guys i really don't know the developers made a bug here somehow and i really don't know how the water is going through because there's no animation for this, really, no, totally no animation. I know they are going through the dam from the top, but yeah, there should be an animation, yeah. Here I can see it more or less, it's here. So it's nice to know it's, it's through here somehow, yeah. That's good, but yeah, an animation would be nice as well. Okay, so that's it. We are finished, we have very happy beavers, level 13, some of them are level 14, so really they will live long and prosper, of course, and if I would get the, the AVE 3, then yeah, then they will definitely live very long. 75 beavers in total, so huge amount of mouths to feed, and we are doing it really, we are doing it, so no problem there and as you can see even here we have yeah good amount of people well i don't need more because the scrap metal here is finished so really i could even say you know what yeah we don't need you anymore go home 
And yeah, that's it. No one is here because nothing else is needed. So all of them will be here, of course. And we have some homeless people I, that I should really address because I just forgot. And of course, that's on, on my bad, I would say. And unfortunately, yeah, I would need to kill that beaver here <laughs> to make it happen uh, properly. Hmm, or maybe we don't need to. Well, I don't know yet, but still, time will tell, of course, for everything. And we will see us again on the next episode with the new race that we unlocked so we can make better village province district yeah we will take a, a nice map uh, more challenging maybe we will start level hard why not this was too easy as you can see i managed to have so big dams here that well yeah we have so much water i could flood the, the entire here uh, land and well I would still have too much water and as you can see now I can replenish water here for this this place I could build a dam here extra why not just to stay with that water here but yeah I don't need to and of course uh, yeah that's it really I blocked the water here with a dam well not the dam I uh, uh, with a levy and that's why I could have much more water because normally it would run out to through that well empty space and the highest I could get it was I think 2.3 and with that solution really I can go uh, 3.0 and above so it's really spilling through here and it's spilling through here through the land as well and of course is spilling through here to the endless void so that's it for now this colony has really good uh, options to survive and thrive as you can see even they have much fun in the carousels and or maybe a hint here for those they need to be powered from behind that's a very important hint uh, the first thing as you can see here well I didn't notice this and then I needed to make a very uh, elaborate um, <laughs> labyrinth of uh, higher placed um, yeah power shafts so and then the gears of course here so it works really with all of that power supply because everything here is supplied by one and the same power train with those wheels and those windmills and yeah Every building is connected. This is the end design. Earlier they were not connected, but now they are. So yeah, and our power generation is uh, over, I think, almost 4,000 and we just need 1,600. So fairly easy to sustain. And as you can see, still here we have 2.17. So if there would be like, I think, 20 days of drought, maybe longer we can survive and don't even go for our reserves uh, of water as you can see I have tons of water here so yeah that would be sufficient and here due to those dams uh, like here I would have so much water extra that yeah I cannot complain and in case I would need to have more I would just delete one of those guys and boom we have it we have extra water so that's it for today i hope you liked it i hope uh, you subscribed and leave a comment maybe you want to see something better now i want to do one more thing in the next with the next race and those are suspension bridges really that costs a little but yeah i could now unlock this one really so oh yeah i will unlock one why not okay we have some science and yeah what does it do well hopefully yeah this is what it does so here i can make this bridge really from one side and from the other side i think 
the next part could be placed. So in total, 12 spaces, if I see this correctly. So very long ones, yeah. And yeah, that's it. I definitely want to build one <laughs> to go to the other side. And those, those are good for some places. Let's say like here or something. We cannot create islands or, or something else, so we can put something there. But as we have Lily, then we can make some artificial islands without, of course, uh, earth, etc., other materials. Well, that's a little bad because I could say, okay, dig out some dirt from here, put it here, and we have a nice uh, island or bigger uh, place to grow our trees, but yeah. Maybe it will come in, in the later versions. For now, it's great. And this was Dotson saying goodbye. Till the next episode in Timberborn. Bye.